Alice, are are you gonna do the YouTube video for mom today? Do you have anything to say? <laughs> no? Hello okay. everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a super impromptu video, which all my videos always are, of course. <laughs> you are so funny. Do you know that? Do you know that you're so funny? He like, he knows like when the camera's on, I swear to God because right here, like I do not put him here. Like he has to be in the video with me. Um, but anyways, all my videos I feel like are pretty impromptu, but today I just randomly decided to talk about how I got a job as a nurse in a medical spa. I've gotten this question a lot. It's probably one of my most asked questions on all my social media platforms at the moment and has been since I switched to cosmetic nursing, aesthetic nursing, whatever you wanna call it. Um, last fall. So I'm finally going to make the video on how I kind of went about getting the job and the interview process and all of that. Also, my pets are going to be loud. Alice just knocked a phone case off of my dresser. So that is just part of this channel. And I also wanted to mention, I, for me, YouTube is like my OG social media, like this is how I started. I started in my parents' house, in my bedroom, like where I grew up, just sitting on my bed, making casual videos. And then all of a sudden it like turned into this whole new like world that I didn't even know existed. And it became a job for me and a huge like source of income and just totally like 360, like where I thought my life was going. And I feel like, over the years of doing this social media has changed so much and i feel like you know there's so much pressure for like always following trends and you know on the new social media tiktoks whatever using trending sounds i don't know just there's always going to be something new and for me i feel like i'm over that part of my life like i'm in my 20s like i am not going to be doing tiktok dances that's just not who i am but this is like where I started like this is where I feel most comfortable and I feel like I've strayed away and like went away from social media because I was like feeling that pressure of like oh you have to be trendy and like have all this fancy lighting and all of that but that's not me that's not how I started this channel this is how I started this channel with weird angles in my parents bedroom sitting on my bed so I've come a long way I am now sitting in my own home that I own and I'm an adult I have a career um my pet children like a lot has changed over the years so it's really kind of a cool experience to like see myself back then like in my videos like from years ago in my parents bedroom to like now so this is like where this channel is going I want to go back to like my roots and how I started if you just listen to that thank you but I wanted to like mention that just because I feel like I have ignored this channel for a while, but I don't want to do that anymore. So thank you if you were an OG subscriber and you remember when I was in nursing school. <laughs> so that being said, I have three kind of things to go over, like tips and tricks on how um, I got into a med spa and this should be a pretty, pretty quick simple video okay so let's get started so the first thing that i want to talk about is just knowing what your expectations are prior to even applying to any positions in the cosmetic or like aesthetic industry just because it is so different than working bedside you kind of have to know like what is your goal with aesthetics do you want to inject and be a lead injector or own your own med spa or it, are you kind of just looking to leave bedside and you want a, just a nine to five be able to learn in the cosmetic field and just kind of have that be your career for until you retire or whatever so kind of what is your goal like what do you want to do because there are so many different job opportunities out there in the cosmetic industry so it just depends on like what you're interested in so tip would be if you are just looking to get into the industry and you don't really care what it is i would suggest just applying for 
as many jobs as you can that are related to cosmetic or aesthetic. So laser hair removal locations, um, med spas, IV, nutrition, there's, that's like a huge thing. I feel like especially in cities that are really big with like bachelor and bachelorette parties, I've been seeing a ton of that on like social media lately, like mobile IVs for like when you're hungover and things like that, or like after like marathons, that's like a huge thing. Um, what else? You can work in a plastic surgeon's office. You can work in a dentist's office. A lot, a couple um, dentist office in my area actually offer injections. Um, as a dentist, you are able to inject in Ohio. I don't know what it's like in other states, but there's just so many different opportunities. So if you're just looking to kind of get in somewhere, apply to everything that you see and that you would possibly be interested in and go from there. Though there are a lot of jobs out there in the cosmetic industry, obviously a lot of people want those jobs, so there will be quite a lot of competition. Um, so definitely applying to as many things as possible that you find even remotely interesting is definitely going to give you a little bit of a better chance, obviously, at getting a position, but also keeping in mind your expectation of like what is your goal if it's just to gain some cosmetic experience then apply to whatever but if you have like a specific goal in mind like injecting filler and tox and things like that then you kind of want to be a little bit more picky but like i said there are jobs out there but there are a lot of people that want them so you do have to kind of know what your expectation is prior to like starting the job hunt also kind of in your expectations i would definitely consider what is your like financial goal with this so in my opinion you almost have to be okay with taking a pay cut if this is like what you really want and you really want to get into the industry there is a lot of money to be made in cosmetics but you know you're going to be starting from the bottom kind of again as far as like if you have years of experience at bedside because that doesn't really go over into the cosmetic world um, just because it's so different and it's nothing like working bedside. So you almost have to be okay with taking a pay cut. And I kind of had that expectation going into it. Like even when I was interviewing, I was like, you know, I just, I want this experience. I want this opportunity. Like I'm not after a certain number for like my yearly salary at the moment. Like I would rather get into the industry, gain experience and then like Kind of worry about that later so again that's like a personal preference and everyone's situation is different um whether you can afford to take that pay cut or not especially with how much travel nurses are making right now and like hourly bonuses and things for bedside nurses for picking up extra um those are huge financial incentives so if that's like what you're after is the financial side of it that I don't know if you'll find that right away, switching over to a med spa um, or anything else like that, just because a lot of med spas are smaller businesses or um, if you don't have any experience, you're obviously gonna be starting from the bottom again, like I said, and there's gonna be different variations of like, you know, how much they're gonna pay you. Are you gonna be hourly? Are you gonna be salary? Will you be able to get tips? There's so many different things to consider when it comes to that financial aspect. So just like understanding that you may not be making as much money as you were at the bedside, but you have to weigh your options. Like do you, what matters most to you? And are you in the position to take that pay cut? Fortunately, I have social media and also um, Mike has, you know, a really good job and he, we kind of like discussed it prior to me, like leaving bedside. It's like, you know, if this is like what's gonna make you happier, like I would rather have you be happy. And I was in a really bad spot like mentally and things. And like, it was putting stress on our relationship. And he was, we kind of had that discussion. Like I would rather, you know, have you find something that you love and maybe you're not making as much money, but we like happiness mattered more. And I believe that 100% for anyone, but there's obviously situations where you can't make that decision so that is definitely something you have to keep in mind but definitely be open to taking a pay cut if it is at all possible for you 
um, in order just to like get into it and there's money to be made in the future but you have to start from the bottom because like I said sometimes like bedside experience doesn't really like transfer over to the med spot world <laughs> because it is just so different. So that was number one. I kind of rambled about that but just know what your expectations are. What is your goal and are you willing to take a pay cut if it comes down to it and evaluating your financial situation and whether or not you'd be able to do that. Number two is making yourself more desirable on your resume. Like I said previously, sometimes bedside experience doesn't always transfer over to like the med spa world just because, you know, it's just so different. So obviously having bedside experience is great and you definitely need to put that in your resume. But if you're finding it difficult, if you're not getting interviews, I would highly recommend taking courses. These are gonna be different from state to state on like what you can take not currently working at a med spa or like depending on your license and things like that. But I would definitely look into it and just do your research on your state laws and like what you can do as an RN. Um, if you can inject like taking, you know, a basic, Botox course, learning the facial anatomy, and that's gonna give you a huge bonus when you're, you know, applying to med spas because they want you to have that knowledge like prior to starting. Um, it is like an expensive industry and it takes a lot of money to train you. So having that experience is definitely gonna give you a leg up. Um, and even like, I don't know if they do course again this is going to depend like state to state I did all my training through the med spa that I work at but for microneedling and things like if you're able to take courses for microneedling facials um skincare products whatever um having that knowledge and being able to prove that on your resume is definitely going to like hopefully get you in the door to at least interview um so like I said it's kind of hard to talk about this because it is going to be different in every state um but putting anything on your resume that is going to make you more desirable for the industry is definitely going to give you a leg up and at least get you in the door to be able to talk to someone and interview. Number three is social media. So aesthetics obviously transfers over a lot to social media and a lot of med spas are going to want you to be okay with posting on social media and, you know, have an idea of the social media world so if you have any experience whatsoever with social media even if it's just like your personal social media knowing how to use tiktok knowing how to use instagram canva um adobe um anything like editing software things like that that would be helpful and useful for social media definitely include it on your resume for you know the cosmetic industry i wouldn't put it on your resume for like a hospital job but this is like a totally different you know, world and I did include my social media on my resume and it's actually, I think mostly why I got the initial interview is because they were interested in my social media experience. So I was a nurse and I had social media experience. So that was like a bonus. Um, so definitely don't be afraid to include like your social media skills um, and, you know, software that you're familiar with and like editing and posting and things like that. And um, honestly, I do believe like that getting that initial interview is going to be the biggest help to be able to show your personality um, and show that you're able to, you know, be personable with the clients and, you know, be able to bring in new clients, things like that. So it's a little bit different than bedside obviously because when you're working bedside your patients come to you because they're sick but when you're working in a med spa your patients are coming to you because they saw you on social media or word of mouth from a family member um, or a friend who already goes that spa so that's definitely something that the cosmetic industry looks for is that you have like a warm inviting personality and you're going to be able to you know be beneficial to them um, with bringing in business and keeping business so um, definitely getting that initial interview is going to like help you the most. I think I have three um, tips in this video but then I just thought of this as I was talking about social media so number four for my tip is 
follow a lot of like med spas and things in your area on social media because sometimes if they're a smaller business they might not always post to like indeed or whatever um where you can see the job posting they might post to their social media saying like hey we're looking for a nurse or whatever so definitely follow like a bunch of places and kind of do your research that goes along with like if you're looking for somewhere to go um get your own treatments done like just follow a bunch of different places look at their work look at what they offer they're obviously going to be showcasing all of that on their social media platforms so definitely i would say instagram for sure and then like tiktok a lot of men's boss have tiktok as well um you can even like shoot them like a message like if you do send in your resume elsewhere or you send it to their email whatever it may be saying like you know hi like my name's blah 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 you know i just sent in my resume like i'm a nurse here just like something like a quick little blurb just to, like catch their attention i wouldn't like press it too far um like if they don't respond like i wouldn't like keep like messaging them or anything um but i definitely think it's okay to like message like once just kind of like see because you never know um but i probably wouldn't don't send like a message like this long but you can send like a little blurb like you know hi like i i'm really interested in this position like i sent in my resume to blank um i hope like you can take a look at it like i hope to like meet you in the future or whatever something like that um but social media like i said is huge in the cosmetic industry so definitely just try to find locations in your area and just follow them all <laughs> on social media and it's you know again a bonus for you too because you can kind of keep up with them and know you know what treatments and services that they provide so then you know when you are going into interview or whatever you're knowledgeable about what they offer so that is tip number four little bonus tip <laughs> um so those are my tips know your expectations take courses make yourself desirable and just keep putting yourself out there like you know the worst they can say is no um so keep applying <laughs> keep applying they're gonna keep seeing your resume if it's like the same place um and just like know what your goal is like what do you want to do like why are you interested in the cosmetic industry you know because obviously they're going to ask that in your interview when you get one and you want to have like a good solid answer not just like i want to leave bedside um pretty much so um i can do another video on like my interview and stuff like that um because i kind of talked more than i thought i was going to in this video but those are like my tips like just keep putting yourself out there and keep applying go through indeed anything that you see if like that is your goal if your goal is literally just to get into the industry just like keep applying keep applying um so yeah oh bonus tip not really but if you're applying to a specific location go to that spa maybe get some treatments done get you know familiar with the services that they provide um there are different brands of filler there are you know multiple different kinds of botox um well botox is a brand but like just like tox in general um like what kind of injections do they do there what kind of um equipment do they have do they have laser hair removal what kind of lasers do they have do they do microneedling if so what brand do they use just like getting familiar um that way when you're making your resume or if you're looking for courses to take you know like what would help you in that like for that specific um med spa um because taking a course for something they don't even like offer there is obviously not going to help <laughs> so that is the video um i really have no other tips just keep applying <laughs> and i hope that you guys find something i hope this was like a little bit helpful um it really is just like the luck of the draw i feel like as well because so many people do apply to these positions but put yourself out there make yourself desirable and something will come along if it is meant to be um so thank you for watching and i will make that video maybe i'll film it right now like my interview process we'll see um but thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye guys